Counselor Denzel Menon Wong was one of the first people Mary and I went to see, and uh, his commitment was uh, unequivocal from the beginning, and uh, w with a contribution, Section 37 money, which we suddenly had some backing, it was a major moment. Please welcome Denzel Menon Wong. So I, I'm really delighted to be here today. Uh, um, having buildings like these in the city of Toronto are, is, uh, is very important. Heritage buildings are very important. Um, uh, far too often we focus in on the downtown, fixing up the heritage buildings downtown, but we don't recognize how important these buildings are to the city. And I can tell you, you know, if you live in this community, this community has a history. And uh, um, if we knock down these building, buildings, you would just have pictures to look at. And we do need a concrete, uh, concrete landmarks to show who we are and where we came from. And this is really important to us as a city. It's important to us as a community. And, and, and um, I've been involved from the very beginning. And I, I actually want to thank everyone for letting me participate. Because as a former student, uh, um, you'll, you know, you, you're going to go through this, uh, through this school and you're going to go on. Uh, to other and better things, but um, you know, I've always wanted to give something back, and, and through through my time involved in this, this has really given me an opportunity to actually give back to the school that gave me so much, and uh, really made me, you know, Senator O'Connor is a part of who I am. Um, I would like to thank a few people who are really important uh, and significant. Oh, and I'd like to recognize Michael Thompson, my colleague from on the other side of Victoria Park, who's also uh, helped out on this project. There are, a few, there are a few key people I'd like to thank. Um, and, uh, you know, through this whole process, there are a lot of stories to tell. I mean, some of them won't be made public. Um, some of them I know. I'm sure there are a lot more that I'm not going to be made aware of. But there are a few people who have pay, played key roles. Mary Fay, you know, when we started this project, Mary, I can tell you, I had my doubts that we were going to be able to do this. And, you know, Mary was the inspiration for us all because. She pulled it all together. She had her bake sale fundraisers and teas and parades, and she did every. She kept us all together. And you know, when when things are dark, and they were there were some dark times, Mary, because you know the money, it was big money, and we didn't know where, it was, where we were going to get it from. But you stayed the course, and and uh, it couldn't have happened without Mary Fay. So thank you, Mary. <laughs> So the, the other person that I would like to recognize that played a key role um, is, is Dennis Timbrell. So, um, and Dennis doesn't know this story, but I remember in one of those dark times when we didn't know where we were going to go, um, I sat down, I think, with Paul Farrelly and Mary Fay, and Paul says, you know, we've got to find someone who can pull this all together and who has the, who has the umph to get things done and who can pick, pick up the phone and and talk to people. And I said, well, call Dennis Timbrell, because he just lives over there. <laughs> and um, it was just, you know, it was an idea. And, and um, sorry I gave your name out, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Paul did that, and Dennis came on board. And I can tell you, uh, uh, Dennis's skills in, in knowing where to go and maneuvering through all the, the, the challenges and difficulties that came up, I mean, it couldn't have happened without Dennis. Dennis, thank you very much for, for participating in this. He's always been involved in, in in, in this particular neighborhood. I mean, he's got a lot of other interests, but he's always had an interest in, in the community and, and couldn't have happened without, it, without your, your help, Dennis. So, and, and finally, the other person who I'd like, I'd like to thank and recognize, and he, he's been thanked, and he gets thanked all the time because he writes all the checks, uh, is Minister Flaherty. Um, he also collects all the money, too, I think, as well. So he gets a lot of blame from time to time, but he hasn't been raising our taxes, and we should all be pleased about that. Thank you, Mr. Flaherty, personally. Um, but, you know, uh, getting this money wasn't easy because, uh, and, I, and actually it all started when uh, the uh, infrastructure program started, the first announced, and I was reading it in the newspapers, and, uh, and I was involved in the O'Connor House, and I said, hey, why can't we get some of that? And uh, but it's not that easy. You just don't go and ask the federal government for some money, and they just don't write you a check. And uh, um, uh, I can tell you, uh, Minister Flaherty, with all his responsibilities and all the projects that he's had to manage, 
I can tell you that he took a personal interest in this project. And there were times when, when we didn't think, Dennis, you, you can attest this, we didn't think the money was going to come. But it was through his personal perseverance for the Senator O'Connor House, without his support, we would not be here today. And so th thank you, Minister, for your personal interest in this community and in this project. So, um, so we're all here on a very happy day. I'm really pleased to see these buildings here, and I'm going to be more excited when the, when the project is finally completed. Um, thank you very much for letting me be a part of this. And uh, Paul, congratulations.